What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Photo.com, and they're a really awesome platform that allow you to edit all your images directly online without having to use something like, say, Photoshop or an application on your phone. So exactly, what exactly can you do? You can make a collage, you can create a design, or you can edit a photo about as professionally as you can possibly get. But for starters, we're going to go ahead and try to create a design, then we're going to do a collage, and then I'm going to go and really edit an image. So when you go ahead into this, you actually have a variety of options that they pre-made already. For example, you have things like a ticket, you have things like a resume, you have YouTube channel art, and this just makes your life a lot easier if you're something like a graphic designer or something of those sorts. For the time being, because this is on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and do the YouTube channel art version. And we're going to see what options we have. And the cool thing is all the sizing is already done for you. So typically you jump into like Illustrator and then you'd have to go ahead and maybe set the size, find the size online and then make your own design. That's a lot of work. Instead, we're simply going to jump into here and now you're able to go and mess around super, super easy. These are some of the options and default templates they have right off the bat. And these are just for YouTube. How crazy is that? So let's see if there's one that I can find that I would use on maybe my channel. Let's jump down a little bit. Something a bit simplistic because that's the vibe we like. Um, I like this piano one. This is kind of cool too. And then this one has a like California vibes. I kind of like this one. So once again, you can go and edit this right on the spot. We would do smart tech. And we would definitely do just subscribe and then maybe a bunch of exclamation points. And then you can go ahead and import an image directly into here so you can use that as the background. And then you can also go ahead and add stickers, text, backgrounds, and so on. Let's go ahead and make a collage. Take a look at all these different options they have for an artistic collage, classic collage, funky, photo stretching. We're going to go ahead and maybe do a funky one because why not? First option looks one of the best. And all you have to do is import a variety of images and it will literally take in all of those images all on its own and fill it into the collage. So all you have to do is click the fill in button. And just like that, I have a full on collage of Hawaii, which is really cool. Now, if you want to go ahead and uh, mess with it, you can go and mess with the sizes. You can also mess with the color and the texture should you choose to do so. It's just really cool. And honestly, for what, three seconds of work, it did everything. The next section, we're going to go ahead and try to beautify an image. So of course, this is another shot from Hawaii, but this one's a bit more of a portrait and palm trees in the background and we're chilling in a Mustang. And of course, we got ourselves well, an already okay looking picture. But if you want to really go ahead and touch it up a notch, you can go and use a tool, for example, the blemish fix and make someone look way better. Just like that. Now, next off, we can also do smoothing. You do have to hit apply now after you do any of these. Uh, this will make sure that, you know, it'll just touch up everything just a little bit. You want to add just a little tiny bit of what I would say. It looks like a little bit of a blur, but make yourself look just a little bit nicer. There's also a wrinkle remover as well. Not really relevant here. You can add a blush. Also not really relevant here because there's a natural blush. And then, of course, a weight loss option as well, which literally just takes the image and compacts it. Not relevant here as well. If you want to reshape something, that's also plausible. So if you want to reshape a literal face, that is an option. And you can also clone directly within here as well. Did a full-on photo shoot, but for some reason you decided not to wear makeup that particular day. Well, this thing has a full-on option for your eyes that literally adds fake makeup. Kind of. You see, this thing can add shadows, liner, mascara, an eyebrow pencil, eye tint, eye pop, and even a red eye remover if that's an if that's a problem. To be honest, most of those aren't really significant to this particular image, but if you want to add some eyeshadow, you simply go ahead and do the do the tool right here and it will go ahead and make it look like you have eyeshadow. That is the worst eyeshadow ever, so not really relevant. I'm just going to undo that real quick. If you want to add mascara, that's another option as well. But I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys that these are options. The one that most people will be using is probably red eye remover and maybe their really interesting teeth whitening option. So if you want to make your teeth look a little bit better for Instagram, simply take the tool and it will fix your teeth right up. That is actually a pretty distinct difference. Wow, that's a cool tool. I'm going to hit apply on that. And now we have an image that was already pretty nice. So let's go ahead and toss it and place it into a frame. Frames, lace frames, gallery flames, Polaroid flames. These look kind of interesting, actually. If you just go ahead and click it, there you go. This is actually kind of cool. It added a full-on Polaroid right here. But we want to make this, uh, we don't need to do that. Maybe we want to make the outer size just a little bit bigger so it looks a little bit more Polaroid-ish. Maybe around the corners, you know, like the old school ones. And then, of course, you can add a caption, too, which is really, really awesome. You can also change the color if you want it to be red. But I think if we're keeping Polaroid, it has to be white. And to be honest, this image looks pretty insane as it was. But now it just looks ten times better. So I think the only thing left for us to do is maybe go ahead and add some stickers. Let's go ahead and choose some image shapes on here. And or, oh, you can actually literally take the image and turn it into a sticker. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we want to turn it into 
let's go ahead and choose a star a heart maybe let's see what that looks like oh it literally adds that directly onto here which is really really cool okay so what else can we do with the stickers let's do 3d grids uh, oh wow they have some very interesting shapes the dazzle effect Ah, okay, there might be something in here that we could actually use. I'm going to go ahead and toss one of these in here. And now, what's somewhere that we could make this look kind of crazy? Oh, look, we can go and toss this directly into the sun over here. And there we go. If we want to make the sun just look, look a little bit more dramatic, that's an option as well. Um, Let's are a really fun to mess with, so I'm going to go and maybe add one more. And, uh, okay, that looks absolutely ridiculous. But if that's the last image you want... That might be an option. I'm going to actually go and toss it over there just to give this image just a little bit of flair. Lastly, maybe we want to go ahead and add some text. So maybe add a heading right here. And I'm just going to write uh, Hawaii 2019 because that's probably the best we ever had it. And now we can also go ahead and change this up a notch and maybe go and share it everywhere. Snapshot it, look at the original, or save it like we're going to do directly to our uh, directly to our computer as a PNG or a JPEG, and we're pretty much set to go from there. All in all, guys, go ahead and check them out. And they also have an application of 300 plus million users, which is really, really cool. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and imported some images into the platform. On our top, we can go ahead and save and share. On our left, we have our tools, and on our right, we got the images that I have. These are from Hawaii, and we're going to go and try to make them look even better than they already are. So first of all, you can go ahead and crop, and they have a variety of options here, which is really cool because some of, them op some of their options include things like Facebook cover photos if I were trying to make this a Facebook cover photo which let's be real it would make a really insane cover photo we can simply go ahead and hit apply and just like that we're good to go afterwards you can go ahead and rotate the image and then there are our tools we can go ahead and lower the brightness on the spot we can go and up the contrast make it look a little bit more crazy maybe make the up the saturation a little bit and of course there's fine tune which gives you exposure maybe lower that a tad bit maybe up the highlights and make those clouds pop and of course up the shadows so the green on the grass shows up just a little bit you can also mess with the color and of course the overall temperature but for, to be honest this image looks pretty good already now what if we want to go ahead and add some effects well let's go ahead and jump into our next image save this one and you can save as a png or a jpeg give it a name and of course choose high quality or low depending on what you're feeling and it'll give you the file size right on the spot so i'm going to hit x over here we're going to go on to our next image and now take a look at this we have a billion different effects and it gives you a preview of what each of those effects would look like they have things like artistic they have festive they have things like classic and it gives you an automatic preview of every single one of those but this image is a bit more cinematic so I think giving it a cinematic look may be the best way but what if you don't want to do that what if you want to go and give it a vintage look because you want to make it look like it was from a long time ago well let's go ahead and do that and get this you can actually mess with the intensity if you want to give it just a slight bit of a filter that's possible as well personally this filter doesn't look too too great but this one looks a bit wild as well uh, let's see what else do they have they have old painted they have purity mellow this one gives it a dark vibe whoa this this is Hawaii. This is, I don't know if this fits the vibe. Let's go ahead and jump into spring maybe, and I'll do one last one. And I think this is going to be the one. This is called morning, and well, we're taking a look at the rainbow in the morning, which is really, really cool. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and edit all your photos in the link below. Thank you guys for watching.